Yo, welcome back to the channel. In this short video, we're going to see how you can create a virtual machine for free on your M1 or M2 MacBook Pro using this free virtualization software, UTM. So first you need to get the software itself. It's free for download, you can go to mac.getutm.app and download that. Either you use the Mac App Store or just download directly on the website. Uh, some samples of what you can get is a Windows 11 VM, as you can see on the screen, uh, um, Ubuntu desktop, that's another one. So you can emulate virtually most of the system and the install is a simple straightforward next next finish kind of installation where you just follow the instructions and uh, next next finish you have your os run you have the you get the software in where's my browser ubuntu the, uh, download this is also of course free so you can get i'll drop the link to the download page in the description but you can always google and go to this uh, download page make sure you download the arm uh, image so you can see there's the 64-bit pc amd that's the desktop image and then there's the arm arm one so the arm image will work on this uh, software as a virtualized image rather than as an emulator i will show you the options when i when we start this so i have this image downloaded this desktop i have downloaded this desktop image it's this is it already so we're going to work with that first so we have the software this this because i already have some machines running some mach some virtual machines installed just go to the plus sign here let me minimize this yep so go to the plus sign here to add so we're going to add a new one virtualize is the option we're going for uh, that's what i was explaining earlier the difference emulate is a bit slower because you it allows you to use different architectures we could use that amd or any x64 architecture on it but because the host os itself <clears throat> the m2 or m1 the apple silicon chip is arm uh, based so we can get better perf performance when we use the virtualized option so you say virtualize what os do you want to install linux so say select linux then just you don't need to un uh, to check this uh, apple virtualization option it's going to use the best the option for us so boot from kernel image so yes where do we want to get the kernel browse where's this kernel it's on our desktop so yes <clears throat> if it's on our desktop then just open continue so that's this image we are using that straight download from hardware specification now we have uh the ram 4096 is okay you can go with 284 that's 2 m this is for 4 gig uh, ram you can go it 2 gigs or, or much higher it depends on what you have available i i have 12 gig you know 16 gigs ram on this uh, m2 pro macbook so we can i can give 4 gigs to this uh, cpu cores let's say 4 cores uh, we can let's just go with 4 cores then continue uh, what's the storage size 64 is all right continue shared directory is just a way of saying you are given your your guest os the new os we're going to install we are giving that os access to the host operating system the macbook the m2 macbook so uh, we can select a directory that we want to share if we want so let's i'll give it access to the uh, downloads directory continue then give it a name so let's call this ubuntu desktop so ubuntu desktop 
and that's it just save so now you have you have the machine you let me so we have the machine now but it hasn't installed the operating system so all we need to do is just start play it and and let's walk through the installation together so now you can see it's saying it has recognized the image the iso image and it's asking us to pick an option here so try or install ubuntu enter so since it's the live cd now we can install the os install ubuntu 2204 lts so what do i want english yes uh, english us yes i'm fine with that normal installations i don't want to download updates while installing just so we don't waste any time we can update this after installation so erase the disk yes i want to erase the entire disk of this image um uh, right to changes yes so uh, london yes that's fine time zone you can change of course to any time zone so name okay haruna and computer name can be ubuntu vm doesn't matter it's just for a test you can put anything obviously pick a username yes haruna is fine then a password just password uh, and then password just a test require password and login yes yes so continue um so installing system so this is going to go through yeah so the the install page will take you to this after installing you, you can see it says installation complete it has finished you can complete uh, t continue testing ubuntu but no that's not what we want we want to finish the installation so uh, restart before you restart just remove the image so uh, close this uh, uh, shut down the system power off using the, the power button here so you power this off and where's the side this is ubuntu desktop if you come down to cd dvd so it's assumed that you've inserted the iso image in the disk drive so just clear that's you just removing that image just so it doesn't boot into that uh, image the next time we start okay after doing that now we can start the operating system this is loading okay yeah so that's it actually so that's this the os haruna what's the password just password and uh yeah this me mac and you can have it full screen so my m2 macbook has turned into ubuntu desktop so next next we can skip all this uh, no don't send yeah yep okay so and, and that's it so now it means i have i have added this to my list of operating systems that are installed so i have ubuntu running and i have windows 11 i have rail 9 so you can have a lot of servers it depends on the resources you have in terms of ram and storage of course thank you for watching if you've got any question please drop a comment and i would respond to you as soon as possible